Hanzo is already a famed and fearsome fighter when he first faces Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat, but he gets even stronger after becoming Scorpion. Hanzo Hasashi dies in the opening scene of Mortal Kombat, but he comes back even stronger in the film's finale as the fire-breathing warrior Scorpion. This transformation is true to the story of the video games, though it's a bit different in the new movie. In both versions, Hanzo's resurrection is intrinsically tied to his vendetta against Sub-Zero, a vendetta strong enough to pull him out of the deepest pits of hell. In the MK video games, Scorpion is resurrected by the Netherum sorcerer Quan Kai as a wraith, a shadowy, violent form lacking its former humanity. In this form, Scorpion is consumed by his thirst for vengeance against Sub-Zero, a thirst Quan Kai manipulates in order to use Scorpion as a weapon. As a wraith of the Netherum, Scorpion wields a range of supernatural abilities, including command over Hellfire and some shadow magic, in addition to his normal fighting skills. The story is changed a bit in the Mortal Kombat reboot, primarily in that Scorpion is resurrected by his descendant Cole Young, rather than by Quan Kai, through some sort of blood magic. The core story, however, stays the same. Scorpion descends to the Netherum, rather than a less hellish afterlife, because of his life of killing and his unfinished, violent business with Bai Han. Get over here! This restless, bloody legacy keeps him going, searching for a way to gain his revenge. In this quest, Scorpion learns to control the fires of hell, transforming from Hanzo into the warrior known as Scorpion. Essentially, it's Hanzo's unceasing desire for revenge that turns him into Scorpion. While not explicitly tied into any one particular mythology, that story pulls inspiration from many spiritual beliefs wherein souls with unfinished business are unable to rest and may become violent in the afterlife. Fortunately for Cole and the rest of Earthrealm, Scorpion's violence is directed at Sub-Zero and by extension, Outworld. <laughs> It should be interesting to see what role Scorpion plays in future Mortal Kombat films now that he's avenged his family's death. Since he's not under the control of Quan Kai, as far as we know, his soul is theoretically free. However, it may soon have other battles to fight. The Lin Kuei won't take kindly to the death of Sub-Zero, and they could come after both Hanzo and Cole for revenge of their own. And if Bai Han comes back from the dead as Noob Sabit, as he does in the games, his rematch with Scorpion in the next Mortal Kombat could be even more intense. My order.